Whoa, that fish is bright silver. Holy cow. Man, it's silver. So you'll see what I have here is um, 12 pound Siglon F to 12 pound fluorocarbon tied together with a blood knot. Then I've got an 11 gram Raven float, uh, fast and deep I think it's called, um, Raven float. And then what I'm using for tubing, you can see that, that's um, gas line tubing for remote control cars. So that stuff's really super tough, it's flexible, it stays good when it's cold. And you just put the tip of the float right through that stuff. That gas line tubing, that stuff's indestructible. So we've got a Raven 11 gram float. 12 pound fluorocarbon, 12 pound Siglon F, and then towards the business end of the weight, I've got an egg sinker, two clear plastic beads, and a swivel. And what that does is those plastic beads act as a bearing, and they keep that um, leader allowing it to spin and swing around freely without having a bunch of knots. So I have that, it's probably whatever the depth of the water is. If it's four feet, I'm gonna have the length of the leader from the float to the egg sinker is gonna be three and a half feet for four feet of water. So you want it a little shallower than the depth that you're fishing. So from the egg sinker, the beads and the swivel, I run about three and a half to four feet to my bead rig. So I run that. You know, that's probably three and a half feet from my egg sinker to my bead, and then I got a little bit behind um, with my raven hook there. Um, I've got a raven hook, raven specialist, and I don't know if you can see it, but that's snelled so that everything is straight on straight. You see that with that bead and that snell knot with the raven specialist, the hook is straight on straight with my leader. So that when I get a good hook set, everything is smooth and goes right through and you hook them right into the corner of the mouth or the top of the snout. Right here I've got the proper elements um, for a bead rig. So there's two different ways that you can do this setup. One, the way I have it is this one is wrapped through the bead four times. The other one is you take a uh, barbecue basting brush, pull the basting brush so you're just left with a spoke like that. You take this and insert it inside the bead, like so. Pull it tight, like that, so you've got that. And then come in with your snippers and snip the end of it, so that that bead is completely pegged like that. The second setup I have on the bead rig is that you keep the bead four inches from the hook, you take the beginning part of your your leader and you go through the bead and you're going to do that four times. So you can rig that bead through there four times by running the leader through the bead. Instead of using the peg, you're going to run your leader line through the bead four times. And some of my different bead rigs you notice that I have them some are far away from the hook, some are closer. But on average, I usually have the bead three to four fingers wide. So with the three fingers from the hook to the bead. That's, there you go. So now we got some knowledge of a little bit of a rig for the steelhead fishing. And it finally stopped snowing. So let's go and do some steelhead fishing on the Muskegon River. Beautiful Muskegon River winter steelhead. It's wonderful. We're the only guys out here. Lots of fish and nobody around. Beautiful.